Hey guys, so this video will be doing vernier calipers, how to read vernier calipers, how to see whether there's a zero error and how to correct for zero errors. A vernier caliper has this main part, okay, this main part that is kind of fixed. Okay, on top of here is the main scale. Okay, so you see this one, all right. Okay, then after that, you have a part that is running this part. This part can move around. Okay, so uh, so what you want to do is that you open the open the mouth up. Okay, slide slide the red one towards the right. Put your object in. Okay, and then after that, close it back. Okay, once you close it back. Based on the reading on the main scale and the vernier scale, you are able to get a reading. Okay, so all right, let's see how we get the reading. Okay, let's say for this particular vernier caliper, let's zoom in a little bit. Okay, look for the zero on the vernier scale. Okay, this zero on the vernier scale, the small one, all right, will tell me what is the last, the last line just before it. Okay, so the last line just before it on the main scale is this guy. This guy go and read one dp in cm. So this is one, one cm. 1.1, 1.2, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5, 1.5 .5 cm, 1 dp. Okay, gotta read 1 dp. Okay, then subsequently you done with the you done with the main scale already, ah? Okay, so you look at the vernier scale. Look at what which line is in line, like form a straight line. On. Okay, you can see that this line is in line with the main scale. One of the lines on the main scale. Which line it is in line with the main scale is not important. Okay, this line is in line with a particular line. This line is the important line. This line reads eight. Okay, so uh, this eight here uh, is a uh, invisible zero point zero eight cm. Okay, so um. What you want, how you want to remember is that this 1.5, 1.5 you got from the main scale. And then after that, from the vernier scale, you got a 8. And then that will give you your final answer, CM. Don't forget to write units. Units for reading the scales is very important. All right? So for vernier caliper, you'll be reading in CM. Okay. Okay. Let's do one more example so that we can be clear about what we need to do. All right. So let's say example one. Okay. Step one, look for the last line. Which last line? The last line before the zero. Last line before the zero is this guy. Okay, last time before zero, I want one dp in cm. Okay, so this is two, one point nine, one point eight, one point seven, one point six, one point five. So this guy is one point four, one point four cm. Okay, next I want to look for a line that is in line with any line on top. So this is the one that I'm looking for. Okay, and he is a five. So the final reading, one point four five CM. Final reading. For vernier calibers, there is this thing called a zero error. Okay, you close up the two doors of the vernier caliper. When it's closed, the two zeros do not align. This is how it should look like. OK, 
okay this is how it should look like very nice one straight line very nice one straight line here okay but if it doesn't align if it doesn't align you can see that this one is a little bit off okay if it doesn't align you have something called zero error okay so this zero error is what happens is that the vernier scale start running already right okay the vernier scale has a hit start so he the number you get will be too much positive error means too much okay so then how do you read the the error how do you read the error is to read the line as though the vernier caliper one okay so this line is the one that is in line two okay so 0 0.02 mm why is there 0, 0.0 remember you can get 2 dp from the last line before the zero so this last line tell me 0, 0.0 cm so this is 0, 0.02 and then after that a uh, plus to tell me that this error is too much okay if you use this vernier caliper to measure you will get a number that is too big okay on the other hand there is another one with the negative error okay now he is at the back so for negative error we will just be using the 0, 0.0 okay 0, 0.0 okay and then which line am is in nine which line is in nine this one but am i using seven i will not be using seven because this is negative error negative error will do things opposite so this is one this is two this is three zero is still zero okay and therefore i'm going to get 0, 0.0 from the main scale three from the vernier scale cm and then after that i put a minus to show that this is a negative error okay so all in all when using a vernier caliper you need to take note always always check for whether the vernier caliper has zero error or not okay if it doesn't have zero error go for you okay if there is zero error go and measure the zero error and write it down okay because you will need to do the next step with it okay so to correct an error to correct a zero error you need to minus it off okay make sense right okay so you see positive error the answer will be too big then you go and minus off whatever is too big if it's negative you minus minus negative becomes positive it becomes plus the error already so you the, the measurement will become correct okay let's look at one example here right First question, okay, diagram A is the close one. Close one only got one meaning. They want you to check for zero error. Diagram B is the actual measurement. Okay, and obviously it needs to be made by the same vernier caliper. Huh? All right, okay. Um, all right, so question A, what is the zero error shown? Okay, let's zoom in here and look at the zero error okay first of all ask yourself is this positive or negative error did the vernier scale start running already or is he the behind the starting line the answer is he already start running already this is the starting line he already start running so this is positive error okay next take 1 dp from the main scale take one number from the vernier scale positive error i don't need to flip 
Okay, so 4 is 4. So 0 0.04 cm. Okay, that everything has to be here. 0 0.04 cm. Okay, I know positive. Uh, always write whether it's positive error or negative error. Huh? Okay. Okay, next, the actual measurement. All right, so what we do is that we want to measure this thing first. Go and read this first. All right, so uh, reading. Okay, so what is the reading here? Let's look here. Okay, the last line before the zero is this line. Okay, this line is 4.6 cm. Remember, 1 dp in cm. Okay, 1 decimal place in cm. Okay, then after that, I'm done with the main scale already. I want to read the vernier scale. The vernier scale, who is in line? Ah, number 5 is in line. So, 5. Okay, reading. Reading here is 4.65 cm. But the actual measurement, I have to minus off my error. So 4.65 minus positive 0 0.04, I'll get 4.61 cm. Okay, which means this wooden block is actually 4.61 cm okay it's just because that this vernier caliper has a zero error that's why you measure it as 4.65 when you minus off the error you're going to get the correct one okay so that is um yeah so that's all for measurements for length okay thank you